down here. In continuing moments of prayer in the power of mothers everywhere, let's take the next eight minutes in silence to represent the last eight months of mothers' mourning of murdered children around the world. Let's focus on the children of Gaza. Let's focus on the mothers of Gaza. When we're ready to begin, just take your time, center yourself in your strength, Center yourself in your love. I invite now to mothers and those others that nurture to say a few words about why you are here. a better world for Hokala. I am here as a nurturer of young children. It's been my career for about 25 years, and I do believe a better world is possible. We do not need to be under the threat of war. We do not need to be under the threat of bullying. There is a better way to problem solve. We can do this. We can learn a better way in the world to raise children who are caring, where we don't have to be under the threat of nuclear arms or any arms that hurt. I am here to dispel the myth that nuclear weapons our deterrent for the nuclear weapons is what keeps us safe. The opposite of both is what is true, and I am here to bear witness to that. I am here to abolish nuclear weapons before they abolish us. and no one is doing anything to stop 
of it. And perhaps if that particular state did not have nuclear weapons, other nations might not be so afraid to intervene. But instead, nuclear weapons in this case is permitting wholesale slaughter while the world's leaders sit on their hands. That is evil and unacceptable, and we are here for that reason as well. Years ago, where I was here with my two, with two of my children, uh, my son Ben and my son John, and they were about 11 and 8. And in some ways, it's pretty disheartening to see that I'm here 23 years later and doing the same thing, saying the same thing. I guess my, and now I'm 65. I would like to say that I'm feeling the pressure of time and circumstances. Now I feel pressure of time for me personally. I can only be walking around and active so many more years. And circumstances, I feel like the pressures of the world, the pressures of war and conflict, I feel like the pressures of declining resources, physical resources that are affecting our environment, financial resources that our company is wasting on law enforcement. And uh, uh, well, we are. I mean, we are wasting too much money on war. <laughs> we do not have enough money for education, for housing, for health care. We, we don't, we aren't in a position to welcome the stranger as we're obligated to do as Christian people. We don't have enough money to pay for reparations to the indigenous people whose land we stole. To the, to the black people among us, who, the descendants of people whose labor we stole. The money is there. The money is there for climate, to do climate, infra climate infrastructure, health care, housing, food security. The money is there. The money is going to improperly. Our, our society has made bad choices about how to spend our money. We need to rethink that, and we need to rethink that right now, because the world needs the money that the U.S. is wasting on militarism. The money now is going to weapons contractors who are wasting it, you know, and, and the money is needed. I work in Africa, and people there are starving. It's not just the people in Gaza that are starving and that are suffering from our bombs. We're wasting money on the bombs that are causing havoc over there. We're wasting their infrastructure. We're going to be wasting money to repair the infrastructure that we've destroyed with our own money. It's ridiculous. So that's my speech as a mother on Mother's Day 2024. And I, I hope I'm not going to be here too many more years making the same stupid speech. Woo! It was a great speech. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> taxes and our money go to murdering our elderly women, children. So many children are dying of starvation all over the planet right now. Weapons we are using are killing people, innocent people, and I'm not okay with that. And we need change. So the only thing I, I want for our people is change and to learn how to interact peaceably with each other instead of killing each other. And that's all I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Mother's Day. I feel for the mothers right now who can't feed their children. Who are watching their children to starve and die. safety order to disperse or move from this area. You have five minutes to disperse or leave by moving back to the roadway shoulder. Your
conduct is in violation of city and or state law, your failure to disperse may subject you to arrest for failure to disperse, disorderly conduct, or subject you to a citation for pedestrian in the roadway. You have five minutes to comply. Guys, straighten out the sign. It's crooked. There you go.
They're going to give it back to us, hopefully. Thank you. Yep, that's my choice. Thank you for keeping it here. Well, we were really appreciate it. Sometimes they try to find you, but you show up in person to explain
they've changed it, maybe because they're poor, they can have the last couple more. Hmm. Yep. Inflation has not hit the penalty yet. Sixty-eight dollars. <laughs> Clarify for everyone. We understand what's going on here. They're being cited for pedestrian in the roadway, which is a civil infraction, same as the traffic ticket. Okay. Dedication to a cause. Thank you. Gotcha. That's good. 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 That's yeah, no, yes or no. Taking to court would be a contested hearing. I'm going to mitigate it. And what I, I usually try to uh, say why there's nuclear weapons are so bad and have the fine reduced to zero, and I request that they reduce the fine to zero, and then if they reduce it part way, I refuse to pay a reduced fine. So I may well be paying the full $68 even when the judge offers to lower my fine. Has, has that ever worked? Were you able, able to for me. bring that up in court? It hasn't led to the end of the arms race yet, but I like the flourish. Yeah. Yeah. 